I don't know why exactly he was chosen to become the wagon master, although there's theories of, well, he was out this way for the Mexican-American War, so he's kind of familiar with the area. They needed someone that was a little scrappy, who had weapons, and who wasn't afraid to fight if they ended up in trouble. And I guess Nicholas Earp fit that bill. I would say that Sarah Rousseau was now becoming the very first biographer about Nicholas Earp and recording his character and his decision-making and his downfall. And I would say that because he's actually her number two subject by name. She names him 43 times. It's about half as much as her husband. It's more than her mentions of her children combined. So she is considering him to be a major character in her story. And um, so that's really important that her diary really brings to life what's going on in the Earp family and his character development. Of course, she also had a special relationship with Virginia Earp, his wife, like many couple friends where the wife is friends with the wife and the husband's friends with the other spouse. And it's a distinct relationship that um, they share. And that's also illustrated in the diary. 